Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you guys how to do this really simple effect uh, changing the sky in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to hop into the editor right now and I'm going to show you guys exactly what to do step by step. Um, so first off, I have my clip right here. This is completely unedited, no color grade, uh, no anything. And the trick to getting this really uh, well um, is you actually have to have the sky in a certain kind of way. So, so for example, on a day like this where the sky is very overcast, it's like almost completely white. This is perfect for this effect. Also very blue works well or um, dark gray something like that something that's very overcast and not like too cloudy if there's a lot of clouds um, it can distort this uh, effect but anyways all you have to do is have something like this it's not too hard to find just go out and shoot um, maybe have your exposure maybe just change your exposure on your camera so that it looks like this so once you have your clip um, all you really have to do is know how to do one effect and then just brush it up a little bit what you're gonna do is come over here and then go to effects and then in your effects search bar you're gonna look up ultra and then you're going to come down here to the keying folder. It's going to say ultra key. So take that effect and drag that onto your clip like this. And now we're just going to go to the back of this clip. And now if you come up here to your effect controls on the clip, you can actually slide down and you'll see all of the little things you can change for this ultra key effect. So basically what this is doing is this is used for if you want to take out like the green of a green screen. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little eye drop thing right here. And I'm going to click on the sky like this, the white. And because it's nice and overdraft, it almost completely takes it out like really easy. Um, as you guys can see, there's some actual distortion here. So what you guys can do to actually fix that is come down to all these and just kind of mess around with these settings until you get something um, that you like that isn't too um, beat up on this. So that's as good as I can really get it. And it still is going to look really cool once we apply the effect. So now that you have this part of the clip keyed out, what you're going to have to do is take this clip and just drag it up and place it in this second video layer right here. So now what we can do is we can place anything underneath this layer and it's going to show up here just because this is cut out it's transparent so for example if I wanted to take this beginning clip in and place it underneath you'd see it's in the background there but we're, we're but what we're going to do is we're going to take some cool um, little gifts that I found on giphy.com just throw these in here so I'm gonna go up to my folder and I'm just gonna find something that I think looks cool so this for example I'm gonna take this and import this into my project and then I'm gonna come back here I'm going to take the GIF, I'm going to place it underneath this. So you're not seeing anything just because it's still hidden by this. If you close this, you'll see this is what it looks like. So to fix that, we're going to have to resize it. So just right click on your purple clip and say scale to frame size. That's going to make it a little bit better. Now what we're going to do is reposition even better. So just come up here to the effect controls, click on this square right here, and then you're going to be able to position it wherever you'd like. Um, if you'd like to rotate it, you can even come in here and add a little bit of rotation just to make it look more accurate. And then we can even scale it up like this. Now let's see what that looks like. It looks pretty cool with that effect added in. Um, and just because this isn't uh, the full duration of the clip, what you're gonna have to do is just hold down Alt on your keyboard and just drag out. It's gonna duplicate the clip. Just stack these all up like this until it's to the end of the very clip, like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to select all of these and you're going to right click and you're going to nest them. So now they're all the same clip, they're all the same size. So when I play that through, it's going to look really cool with that sky like that. It looks really awesome. I like how that turned out. So here is our ending look. I'll play that for you guys right now. Um, very simple effect. It takes not a lot of time at all and you can create some really cool stuff if you get this keying down. Um, just make sure you guys don't overuse it. That's one of the mistakes that I see a lot of people doing at first. They kind of overuse the keying. Um, know when to use it and know when the best time to use it is. But anyways guys, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Any video that you'd like to see from me, leave it in the comments section below. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.